Hello and welcome to the Sonix Tool Shop. This presentation is meant as an overview of both the required and optional tools to build a Sonix or any other metal aircraft. We highly recommend that you print the list of required tools from the Sonix website and follow along with this presentation using this list. Starting with a brief disclaimer, this presentation is provided for aircraft home builders information only. Sonix Aircraft is not specifically or intentionally endorsing any of the products shown in this presentation, and we recognize there are many alternative ways and alternative tools that you can use in the construction of your own Sonix Aircraft. This presentation is meant to be used only as a reference tool for aircraft home builders around the world. We hope you'll enjoy it. For the third and final part of this three-part Sonics video series, we'll talk about some of the tools that we consider to be optional for Sonics aircraft construction. Some of these are able to be sourced at the local hardware store, and some are specialty tools only available in a few places. Note that Sonics recognizes there are many different methods to complete the same task using a variety of different tools. We are just giving you some of the tools that have worked best for us over our many years of experience designing, building, and flying a wide variety of aircraft. You will need a torque wrench for a few construction activities. It is an essential tool if you choose to assemble your own AeroV engine. There are two types of torque wrenches shown in this picture. On the top is the most common type with an arm connected to the head of the wrench. This arm acts as an indicator of how much torque is on the head. Most common types have inch pounds and foot pounds. Another type of torque wrench has an indicator on the handle. You rotate the handle to dial in the desired torque number and it clicks when you've reached it. We've also included a couple of types of drill taps. These are not required but nice to have for installing threads into various components if necessary. This is a workmate or a clamping table. Um, it's a very useful tool. Once you get it in the shop, I think it's something you'll use quite a bit. Uh, most common activities you'll be using it for just as a second set of hands, much like your bench mount advice, and it's very handy for clamping large pieces of angle that need to be final finished. Since day one, Sonics Aircraft has used these simple and inexpensive riveting tools to install all the solid rivets on our aircraft. The machine bucking bar provides a notch to clear the Sonics bar cap and is a tool Sonics Aircraft sells. Note that the only solid AD rivets in Sonic's construction are a few hundred in the main spar buildup, where access to both sides is easy. The other tools are a medium sized 2 to 5 pound sledgehammer and a large bolt with a polished head to serve as the setting tool. This riveting method provides a great deal of control to the builder, and if done correctly, meaning you're not working too hard, it is extremely simple for any skill level to do. This method represents a huge potential savings in tool expense by replacing hundreds of dollars of solid riveting tools with a setup that costs less than $50. There are only very rare occasions where we use grinders and moto tools. Shown in this picture at the top center is a grinder. This would be used mainly if you're going to be welding up your own uh, steel components and you want to make one smaller or change the shape of one. On the left hand side of the slide is a moto tool which we use almost never. It is kind of handy for polishing the insides of parts and you can see some various cutting tools and other uh, sanding adapters. You can even use it to drill holes. And on the right hand side is a very small pneumatic drill, a high speed drill. This is very useful for example if you put a spiral cutter for cutting out your fiberglass parts and also just drilling holes. This is also a tool we use rarely, if ever, in aircraft construction, but uh, hole saws and fly cutters are helpful, obviously, for cutting holes in sheet metal. A uh, fly cutter is very useful for scratch builders uh, who are building their own wing ribs and want to cut out uh, the lightning holes. Uh, also, hole saws are nice just for the smaller uh, holes. Be sure not to put the hole saws into a drill, either of these, into a, into a hand drill. These must be used with the drill press and used with caution, but can be useful tools. For our extremely simple Sonics wiring systems, you will only require some basic electrical tools to run your wires and hook up your electrical and instrument components. Shown in this slide along the bottom, left to right, is a wire stripper, a wire cutter crimper, and another version of a wire stripper. At the top of the page are some other useful tools which you can find virtually anywhere, and you may find you'll use a lot. 
On the left is a safety wire pliers, which you clamp on a safety wire and pull the handle to form the spiral of safety wire to secure nuts. In the center is a yellow handled Allen wrench set. Uh, both metric and English would be useful. And on the right are some long reach forceps, which are very nice if you're working by yourself and need a long narrow reach to hold or grab something. These tubing tools would be used very rarely. In the upper right hand side are some spiral sleeves that you put over soft aluminum tubing so you don't kink the tubing when you bend it. Used very, very rarely. In the lower right hand side is a simple tubing cutter, two different sizes, one very small and one medium size, used to cut mainly steel tubing. Uh, for those of you that are doing your own welded components, this might be a very useful tool. And on the left hand side is a tool you'll really only use once to do your fuel system, and that's a flaring tool. It actually puts a little flare or expands uh, the entry point of, uh, of aluminum tubing uh, for your fuel system so you can install fittings. This is a handy little tool that I would consider to be more of a nice to have tool, and that's a rivet spacing tool. Uh, what happens is if you grab both ends of this rivet spacing tool and pull it out, it ends up uh, allowing for an evenly spaced set of holes at the top. So it's useful, for example, or in your plans, you'll have seven holes evenly spaced and it only gives you one dimension. You simply put uh, one, the first hole there, count seven over, and expand the rivet spacing tool to that seventh hole. And that will allow you for an even space. Again, nice to have tool, not absolutely necessary. These sanders are also used extremely rarely unless you choose to do certain tasks. On the left hand side is a DA or dual action sander. It's a pneumatic tool and uh, it's very useful for just some final finishing work for long components. And on the right hand side is a palm sander, also available just about anywhere. This version is electric. And the palm sander is very nice. For example, you can uh, chuck in some uh, scotch bright and use this to prep your airplane uh, for paint. In the early days of Sonics, we chose to polish almost all of our aircraft. We actually found a decent polish job did not require a huge amount of effort to get and was inexpensive and lightweight. A show grade polish job, however, takes a lot of time and effort. We accomplished our decent polish jobs with less than $100 in polishing compound and a few hundred dollars invested in a nice auto polisher. In the upper left hand side of the slide is a nice variable speed auto polisher with a wool buffer. In the upper right hand is a very inexpensive polisher. We do not recommend skimping here. Buy a nice polisher. We really like a product called Nuvite, which Sonic sells in a kit of three grades, kind of like grits of sandpaper. A rough finish, a medium finish, and a final finish, so you'll be making three total passes to get your polish job. Other useful polishing tools are Scotch-Brite pads and nice cotton rags. This concludes this part of the Sonics Tools presentation. We hope you've enjoyed it. For more information on all things Sonics, check the Sonics website regularly at www.sonicsaircraft.com. We also would like to invite you to Oshkosh, Wisconsin for one of our builders' workshops. Check the Sonics website for this upcoming schedule. Enjoy your project, and we hope to see you in the air soon.